Fatima, the daughter of Muhammad Rasulullah, gave her most famous sermon in the 11th year after the migration inside the Masjid of Rasulullah at the presence of Abu Bakr, the Muhajireen, the immigrants, and Al-Ansar, the people of Medina. Books of history and historians record that once Fatima was informed that Abu Bakr had confiscated the land of Fadak, she stood and wore her garments and she covered herself in a cloak and she accompanied herself by the woman of Bani Hashim and she slowly made her way into the masjid of her father Rasulullah. Books of history indicate that her walk resembled the walk of her father Rasulullah. Her gestures resembled the gestures of her late father Rasulullah. She entered the masjid. The masjid was full of the Muslims. It was crowded by the Muslims who had recently witnessed the departure of the seal of messengers, the last of messengers, the beloved of Allah. Once she entered the masjid and they saw her accompanied by the woman of Bani Hashim, they put out a curtain for Fatima. She sat behind the curtain with sorrow and sadness. She sighed and she loudly said, Ah, historians have recorded that the entire masjid burst into cries. It turned into a commemoration of mourning and crying. And for some time, they could not control their tears. Fatima remained silent until the cries calmed down. Then she stood and she delivered her most eloquent sermon full of knowledge, wisdom, eloquence, bravery. I begin in the name of Allah, the gracious, the most merciful. And I glorify him for he created us and many creations before us and many creations after us. And I thank him and I praise him for all his bounties. And I glorify him for all his blessings. For every time I thank him, it is because of the ability that he has given me to thank him. And without him, we are nothing. He created the creation from nothingness and it will return with his might and power once again to nothingness. And I bear witness that there is no, Allah, there is no God besides Allah and there is no deity worthy of worship besides the one and the only, and the only almighty Allah. And I bear witness that the seal of the messengers and the final of the prophets and the best of them was my father and the servant of Allah, Muhammad. He created him before creation and he tested him and appointed him to illuminate the minds of the people and to bring wisdom to their eyes and to allow them to escape from their darknesses into light. Oh you Muhajireen, oh you Ansar, oh you the woman of Muslims, you were people who would drink water from the gutters and create your own gods from idols and you would worship them. You were people living in humility, waiting to be attacked from every angle. You would bury your daughters alive and you would not have respect for any sanctities. Allah rescued you with my father Muhammad and he changed your lives forever. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam was asked how he shall be repaid for all his services. And in return, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed this verse. قُلْ لَا أَسْأَلُكُمْ عَلَيْهِ أَجْرًا إِلَّا الْمَوَدَّةَ فِي الْقُرْبَى صَدَقَ اللَّهُ الْعَلِيُّ الْعَظِيمُ This was a brief introduction. A summary from the introduction of the sermon of Lady Fatima, known as the Sermon of Fadak. Where she alludes to a verse from Surah Al-Shura. While Rasulullah came to change the lives of the pagan Arabs so that they would escape from jahiliyyah, from ignorance, from unawareness, from foolish lives, into Islam, into awareness, into Tawheed. Allah Allah rescued them with appointing to them the best of his messengers. 
the seal of the messengers. Khatamul Ambiya. 